Hi, and welcome back to my own utopia. I'm Kaylina. Today is Freebie Friday. <laughs> so, before we get into it, I would like to say a huge, huge thank you to No Catchy Name Crochet, Ella. Hi, Ella. I am a huge fan for shouting out my name in my channel and asking individuals to go support. She also has a lot of um, other wonderful YouTubers she suggested as well. And I went over there and I commented and I liked and I also subscribed. But because she did that, I had a huge flux of wonderful and very kind and caring individuals that came over to my channel and I want to say a one a huge thank you to her for doing that thank you so much sweetheart two I want to say welcome to all the new subscribers that came over from Ella's y'all are so sweet and kind for everything that y'all have commented and what y'all have done I I am just so grateful thank you so so much for doing that and three, I just, I, I cannot honestly be more grateful enough for all the flux and that has come over and all the wonderful and great and very kind words that y'all have put underneath all of my videos and going over to my Facebook group and following me over there. I just... I don't know what else to say or how much more grateful I can be or how to express how grateful I am, except for just at the particular moment, I am talking to my husband about something, but just as of right now, I want to say a huge, huge thank you to all of you guys or gals or <laughs> just to all of y'all. Thank you so, so much for everything. So... I know I have to do this, but I don't like doing it, but I have to. Um, please do hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the notification bell down below and hit the all. It will inform you of any videos that I get, I put up into the future. I also have an Instagram and I have a Facebook group. I will have that link down below. And if you're wanting to have any tips or tricks before I put them up here, or sometimes I accidentally forget to put them on here, I will make sure I do put them on my Facebook group and I'll also put them on Instagram. Go check that out. Now, I have some awesome, awesome free patterns for you guys today. I have a little bit of St. Patrick's Day and I also have some Easter and I have some, a little bit of knit patterns. I really don't have that much. And I have a geek pattern. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoy. I know I just went out of frame. Sorry. Trying something new here. Now, I came across this pattern right here. Isn't that cute? Now, I know that this is not a four-leaf clover, but in my opinion, it's absolutely cute and adorable. It can be used for St. Patrick's Day or any other time of the year, or just if you want to show your Irish um, heritage or anything like that. This is a wonderful pattern. I'm actually trying to make it right now. This is a pot holder. Uh, you can make it into a pot holder or you can make it into um, a washcloth. So you have two of these and you sew in or you sew on the back and the front of the same pattern. And it turns it into this. How cute is that? All patterns will be linked down below. So I have that one. And then... Let's see, number two. Oh, I will put the picture up here. This is so stinking cute. So I was unable to actually print it out, but if you want to have the printed out pattern, um, she has an Etsy shop. You can go check her out. And um, I wish I brought a pen out so I can mark it down, but uh, I think it's like only a couple of dollars. If I'm incorrect, I will mark that down below very easy pattern very simple it is uh, adjustable 
from what I read, you can make the cup or yes, you can make the cozy bigger or you can make it smaller. It is the St. Patrick's Day mug cozy. It's crocheted and it's by J.O. to the world creations. It is so cute. Go check that one out. Now, number three is a YouTube. Um, it's a YouTube video. Here is the photo. I will make sure I scoot it over so y'all can have a much bigger picture. Um, it is called the Four Leaf Clover Dish Cloth by Creative Grandma. Now, I love Creative Grandma. She does fantastic job explaining how to do the tutorials. Um, tutorials? Tutorials. <laughs> uh, right now I'm actually creating this I am following her pattern she does a fan jo fantastic job explaining everything of how to do it how to recorrect and everything else like that go check out her channel if you've never heard of her before you might really really like her if not just go check this out and you can make this right before St. Patrick's Day it doesn't take no time at all it is a dishcloth now, for Easter, I have four, or one, two, three, four, four printouts. This one is for number four. It is an Easter egg dishcloth. Oh, it says coaster. I just read it. I'm sorry. Easter egg coaster. She used is um, sugars and cream, roasted weight, cotton yarn. She explains everything. It is a free pattern. You can go to her website. She does beautiful photos, step by step, how to change over. So she does a fantastic job. I really want to actually make this. So she goes through each step and even final product of explaining how to do everything. I love finding individuals that do that. They take their time to actually be able to explain what they're trying to say. So individuals that learn from uh, visual learning instead of reading, she does it that way. So go check her out as well she's number four now this is number five I'm actually working on this right now how adorable so cute spring cloth oh I love it so cute um it's from snappy tots because I have like three different patterns that I want to show you guys but she explains it beautifully um she does not have picture by picture of what to do but yet I don't have the pdf I did not pay I just printed out the photo for you guys so again that was for number five this is crocheted Forgot to um, say that to you guys. Um, this is crocheted as well. This is number six from Snappy Tots. Spring Hand Towels. So it matches the last ones that I just showed y'all. They are so adorable. Oh, and if you cannot tell, it has the little hook on the top. She explains how to hook it on to the very back so it looks much better. And you can hook it on to like your kitchen stove or wherever you're wanting to hook it to. Hold on one. Sorry about that. So, um, this is a matching one. It has a little loop on the back as well. I'm not sure if I said that and I apologize if I'm repeating myself. But she actually does photos explaining what to do for each um, section everything else like that 
Let's see, where is it at? Here it is. So, they are so cute. I've already pulled out the yarn. I can I cannot wait to make those. Oh, I cannot wait. So that was number six. I will have these in order when you look down in the subscription uh, box down below. If you just look for the number, if that's what you're wanting to write down, then go right ahead. I'll also have the name of the pattern as well. So the last one from the exact same spot is number seven. Yes, this is the last one for Easter that I have. I wish I knew about this much much sooner because if I did I would so have made this for my cousin her baby would be adorable in this but with all the projects and everything that I'm doing and then with my wee ones I just don't have enough time oh my goodness so many projects and just not enough time <laughs> oh, it's called the spring bibs uh, she said it's for $2 if you want the PDF to support her. It's on Ravelry. Uh, you can get through to Ravelry um, and to be able to pay for this if you want to support her through the website that I will be linking down below. So that is number seven if you're wanting those cute adorable little bibs. Okay, so number eight. Oh, I'm sorry. This one is a... Um, another Easter one. I will pop the uh, picture up here. It's called the Grammy, yeah, Grammy Eggs Garland by Fiber Flux. I actually want to make this. Oh, I so want to make this. It looks so simple and so easy. I think my boys would absolutely adore it. And I can sit here and make it and um, post it out, put it, not post it, Put it somewhere out there for decoration. We're already putting up Easter decoration, if you cannot tell. <laughs> um, or I can just sit there and if they really, really like it or really want to stem with it, I can sit there and just make it for them in any color, design, shape, or whatever. Or not shape, but any color pattern that they're wanting. And I can hand it to them and they can just run around and play with it. I've done that before. <laughs> it makes them happy. And whatever makes them happy makes me happy. As long as they're not murdering each other, I'm good. <laughs> okay. So, if you're here for just the um, crochet patterns, that was the last one. And I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you're here for the crochet and the knitted, I am doing the knitted patterns that I have at the particular moment. I only have one, two, three, four patterns this time. Usually I try to equal it out, but I barely found any knitted um, St. Patrick's or um, Easter patterns. And that's what I really wanted to go in on this time because Easter is right around the corner. I know there's some individuals out there that want to find a uh, really quick, fast, um, St. Patrick's Day patterns and they want to just go ahead and whip them up as quickly as possible. So I was just trying to do what I can find for those two holidays at the particular moment. So now we're going to be doing the knitted patterns. So I'm doing a little bit of a geek <laughs> and this one is number nine. So uh, this one's called the Knitted Darlick Cloth um, dishcloth. Now, I did make it years and years and years ago. And I did it in acrylic. Yeah, this is the right way. I really like this pattern. So, I found it. I reprinted it out. And I wanted to show it to all of y'all. There were some individuals that when I put it onto my group was asking me to put it on here as well. And I put it on a couple other groups and stuff like that. So I saw how popular it was. I wanted to throw it up here as well. So 
Um, I want to make more of these. I'm so hiding it. My husband doesn't go through my stuff. So this will be a surprise for him. Or I might do it in a really, really dark red. Because he loves dark red and black. So I might do it in black or in really dark red. And see how he likes it. Or how I like it. And I might give that to him for his birthday. It's coming up. So here's the Dalek. I know I mispronounce it all the time. And, um... Fans out there will be probably sitting there going, exterminate, exterminate. <laughs> oh, she does a fantastic job explaining it. Um, any tricky um, stitches she puts down, what to do, everything else like that it is free to print out. Yeah, here it is. So... She made it as simple as possible to print it out and to be able to do it. So here is the photo again, and it comes out beautifully. She did a great job. I cannot wait to redo that again. So I have, let's see, this one's number, yeah, this was number 10. I have been looking for child size socks. If you have not seen my videos before, I'm, yeah, I moved them. I found some more sock yarn that I want to use and then I have some sock yarn coming in. So I want to start doing socks for my boys and for myself only because I'm actually getting really into knitting. So I found this kind. Um, she does sizes four to five years old, uh, approximately seven inches long, six to seven years old, approximately eight inches long, and eight to ten years old, approximately nine inches long. The reason why I chose this one was one, it's a vanilla sock, and it has the reinforced stitches right there. Hold on. Here we go. And because of how long this is, my oldest has uh, has to wear braces. So he has braces on his little legs, his ankles, and sometimes when we go off and do something for a, an extended amount of time, he has to wear braces all the way up to his knees. So I want to make him in his own colors, own patterns. For himself, personally, I want to go all the way up to his little knee to have as much comfortability as possible. Also, too, he cannot sweat. So, because he cannot sweat, sometimes the socks that he wears are not quite breathable. So, I want to try to see if I can do some sock or find some sock yarns that are cotton and to help him out with that as well. So, he doesn't rub um when he's hot and everything else like that. like I want to say sweaty, but he doesn't sweat. Um, if we play in the water and he has that rubbing and everything else like that, hopefully that can help him as well. So that's why I chose this one. Now I am on the hunt for much uh, smaller socks for toddlers, but I've yet to be able to find any. Now, Let me scoot over. These are videos. I found two Easter knit videos for you guys. And here's one. It says, how to knit an Easter egg quick knit softies. They're so stinking cute. Oh my God. By Studio Knit. Oh, so cute. Now this is uh, number 11. So if you're wanting to find this one down in, script, in the description down below. It will be linked as number 11. So cute. So adorable. Did not follow or watch the video to see if there's any mistakes or anything, but the way I saw just a couple of minutes, it looks like she does it in great detail. Two, or number 12. How to knit a bunny from a square. I have seen this so many times on Pinterest and I finally saw it on YouTube and I'm like oh perfect so um, I thought this would be a very simple very easy it is by Studio Knit as well excuse me and it is so adorable and it looks like it is perfect for a brand new knitter 
So if you're wanting to do something small, cute, and adorable for decorations for your kids or anything else like that, and you're just a, a little bit concerned, don't be. This is awesome. So go check that out. So other than that, I have to get up off of here. It sounds like my dogs are probably yelling at me. I hope y'all enjoyed this. I hope y'all liked it. And again, I want to say a huge, 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 huge thank you to all of you guys that have come over from No Catchy Name. Thank y'all so, so much. And again, to Ella. Hi, honey. <laughs> thank you so much for doing the shout outs. You, you probably know. But it brought me so much joy and I am so grateful for just doing that and looking at us little ones. Thank you so, so much, sweetheart. All right. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.